Have you ever had someone look at you and say, don't be so emotional? Have you ever said that to someone else? Maybe even to your own family? We all have emotions and being emotional is as natural as being awake. So what do we really mean when we say this? For most, this phrase is less about what we feel and much more about how we are expressing our feelings. Like we want people to understand what they're feeling and we want them to share that, but in a calm, reasoned and thoughtful way. But the vast majority of us were never taught strategies to help us verbalize emotions. So instead of being upset by the emotions young people express, how can we help your kids to verbalize how they're feeling more effectively? Number one, stay calm and keep the connection. When a teen's expressing anger or frustration or fear or disgust, you can do more good by seeking to understand them rather than correct them. So be present with them, acknowledge their feelings, and help them have a safe space to be expressive, even if it's unfiltered. Number two, offer visual help. Maybe you've heard of this emotions wheel, right? If not, Google it, super helpful. Or something similar to help them identify, name emotions. And by giving them like a visual tool, it can help them to find their bearings when it comes to, you know, like what they're feeling, where those emotions might come from. And so instead of asking them to fully understand like what they're feeling in that moment, help them discover the path to understanding their own feelings. Number three, invite their stories and questions. A teen may not be exactly able to tell you how they feel and why, but they can tell you the story of their day. So be like an investigator, help them process their own journey, what led to the emotions that came up throughout their day. Number four, partner with them in problem solving at the right time, of course. If an outburst happens, you could say, next time, don't yell. Or you could help them identify what really caused their emotional response in the first place. What's the result they wanted to see? And how could it be more effective in the future? When they solve their own problems, they're not just improving behavior, but they're growing as a person. And think about it, at the end of the day, we don't want less emotional people because emotions make relationships beautiful and engaging and, and real. So let's not be afraid of what we feel. Let's learn to normalize emotions and help those we love do the same. Thank you guys for partnering with us here at Cornerstone. We're praying for you guys, cheering for you guys as parents. And if you need anything, just let us know. Have a blessed month.